This is B-Town, the movie known as the greatest city to have ever lived in Minecraft was created by myself, Slogo, and Craner. And in this movie, you're gonna see how we started it, what happened, and what it looks like now. Make sure to watch till the end. Today, I'm back in my solo Minecraft series, B-Town. You know, it used to be Cowtown, but I moved out. I moved into B-Town now. But somebody placed boats in here. In case you're new here, let me explain. Many, 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 many months ago, I started the solo Minecraft world. I was just enjoying myself, mining coal, getting my own diamonds that nobody can steal from me. Until Slogo hacked into my game and started trolling me. Because I have another friend called Craner, I decided to invite him onto the server, and then we started playing with the three of us. We've had a lot of up and downs, but in the last episode, I decided to move away from my friends and start fresh. And then I found B-Town. What's up, B? Is that Beatrice? What's up, Beatrice? Long time no see. And I thought I would be, <laughs> I thought I would be alone in this town. But nope, Craner's peeled himself a house. The reason I know it's Craner is because it's yellow and there's boats in mine. Okay, there's not a single sign around. I'm not sure if I've actually been trolled or not. Wait a minute. Is that Benny? Benny, silly you, stuck in a boat. Actually, I should call him Beanie. <laughs> Talking about beanies. Go to the deli store, delistore.com are selling a lot of cool beanies over there and also a lot of other cool merch. <laughs> And remember, if you want to see more B-Town, this series runs on likes. At 100,000 likes, I will upload another B-Town video. Otherwise, we will never, ever play this game again. Can we get rid of the boats, please? It's time to remove the boats. Well, Beanie, I, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to put you somewhere. You're, you're my pet bee now. <laughs> do people have pet bees? <laughs> I don't think so, do they? Okay, we'll, we'll create a little home for Beanie. However, I wanna check out Craner's house first. Wait a minute, he's got some signs. <gasps> Craner's crib, AKA the, <clears throat> I think it says worst, worst house on the block. Go, 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 go. Okay, Craner, what is this? It's identical to mine. Now why does he have a little water pond? Loppy? L Where is Loppy? <laughs> Did he kill another fish? I swear I didn't do it. Oh my God, wait, this could be bad. Craner knows I'm here. He moved to B-Town for a reason. I don't even know how he found me. I guess he put his fish here, but it then died? Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell him that it wasn't me who killed his fish. Hmm. I gotta give him a gift or something. I gotta give him a gift. We're in B-Town. Honey, woo! What's up, honey? A gift from the gods. And of course, we gotta collect some honey. This one seems to be dripping. Whoop. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know they were getting angry. I'm sorry. No, don't get angry at me, please. I come in peace. Am I not allowed to steal some of your honey, man? Beanie, you're not angry at me, right? How did you get yourself stuck in a boat? That's so odd. <laughs> Imagine being a bee. Oh, whoa, did you see what I did there? Imagine being a bee and be stuck in a bee. Boat. Okay, how do I stop making them angry? Will they forget about me? Will they? <laughs> okay, I'll have to wait a couple of minutes and then I think they will love me again. I'm sorry, B-Town. I'm sorry. Okay. I think it's safe out there now. However, I have three bottles for a reason. I think we should fill them up and then we'll run to Craner's house. Okay, let's see if we find another dripping one. Is this one dripping? Oh, this one's dripping. Blip, blip. Oh, wait. I can only fill it once. Another one. Ah! Woo! Okay, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, okay. We've got three honey bottles. Yay. Dear Craner, welcome to be down. Just to be <laughs> clear, I did not kill Loppy. I would never be able <laughs> to do such a horrible thing. However, in the chest, I left you a gift. Can we please be peaceful? <laughs> please stop! No more trolls, in brackets. No more slow go. Yes! Just behave <laughs> and stay friendly. <gasps> kind regards, your honey jelly. <laughs> okay, we'll put the chest right here with blah, 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 a gift from the bees. I'm not kidding, guys. I'm kind of sick and tired of the trolls. So hopefully we can all be happy and B 
be peaceful in this town. Okay, I'm, I'm really gonna stop now. It's, it's getting a little bit lame, isn't it? I'm being a bit silly. <laughs> okay, where was I? Beanie! Beanie! Beanie the bee! Deserves a peaceful home. Now, where do bees like to live? In trees, right? Or, well, in honeycombs. These things. However, if I break one of those, I think I'm gonna die. So, I think the best thing to do is we actually get a sapling. Okay, we make our own tree. And then we cover it in leaves and kind of make that a little prison. <laughs> is that is that messed up? Beanie, I'm gonna make you a new home. Here. <coughs> is that a good spot? Okay, did, it, did a honeycomb grow in there? Nope. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's actually get some leaves. There we go. We gotta steal some leaves. This is now a very naked tree. And now, we will cover this up. Yes. Okay, we're gonna break this piece open over here. Okay, we'll cover the rest up. Perfect. Beanie will have some water, some flowers. This is actually looking really good for a bee house, you know? All right, Beanie. Come on. It's time to go in. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> ah, you're too fat. No, maybe? No? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> a kaboom! All right, the last thing we're gonna need is a bee's nest. And like I said, we could break one. Do we get it? Okay, wait, let's not break that one. That one looks pretty. Uh, I I'm gonna try to break one. Otherwise, we can make one, I think, as well. But they'll just look a little bit different. Okay, let's break this one. Ah! Ah! Did I get it? I did not! I did not, I, I made all the bees angry. Great job, Jelly. Okay, I gotta look up in the recipe book. Uh, nest. No. No, hive maybe, hive. Yes! We need honeycombs. Oh wait, I can get that with shears, right? We gotta get some wood and honeycombs. Okay, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. Are they still angry at me? Do we gotta break it, guys? Please tell me I don't break it. That would be sad. Oh, I didn't get anything. Oh, there we go! Yes! Three honeycombs! Woo! We can make a beehive! Okay, so it, you did not have to break it. I just broke that thing for no reason. I'm still new to bee town, okay? All right! We are creating the first artificial bee nest. And it's called a hive. We'll place it right there. With a torch. All right, and now we can remove the boat. Yes, Beanie! Beanie the bee! Okay, remove the boat. Yes! Beanie the bee! <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we gotta get a sign ready. The home of Beanie the bee. Yes! <laughs> we gotta get Beanie some more flowers, though. You know, he's, he's gotta be able to um, su suck the honey out of the flowers. You know, that's what bees do. All right, there we go. Very pretty. Beautiful. He's got some water. He's got some flowers. He's gonna make me honey for days. He might get really angry, but that's okay. Look, he's, he's getting the honey. <laughs> hey, and now he's in his hive. Can I steal some honey already? No, it's not ready. It's not ready. Oh, what's up, little bee? Hello. Talking about bees, I have a pet bee called Beanie. And he is right in here. The home of Beanie the bee. Beanie, good morning. Oh, he's been working hard. His bee's nest is full of honey. <laughs> okay, one second. Beanie, this might hurt a little. Yoink. Ah! Okay. Ow, Beanie. Ow, it's just honey. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We've got our first batch of honey from Beanie the bee. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering though, where is Slogo? Has he trolled me? Slogo's the type of guy to kind of arrive late. He's always late. But I don't see anything new. Slogo's not here! Yes! I've been working on B-Town a little bit and I created this pathway. Found a couple caves along the way. One over here and one over here. Oh, this is a beautiful one. I've been working a little bit on a farm. Would you look at all of this? I'm gonna need some food soon and I don't have cows anymore to kill. In fact, I only have two steaks left, so I'm gonna need bread again. In today's episode, I want to build the craziest thing ever. And it is going to be on top of that mountain over there. And that is why I built this path. I'm about to show you my new plan for today's video. Oh, would you look at this beautiful pathway? It's temporary for now, but 
Ladies and gentlemen, right over here in this corner, I want to build B Tower. B Tower will be the most beautiful viewing tower in the whole Minecraft universe. Look, we're like really, really high up here. In fact, I think this is the second highest mountain around me. That one's just a little bit higher, but it's also out of B-Town. But this tower here will have the most beautiful view of the Combo Lake. And eventually, once it's high up, we can actually see the town itself and we could potentially see any danger in the future. For example, Slogo starting another town right next to ours. Swamp Town, for example. Well, while I was working on the path up to the tower, I thought, why don't we create a really cool minecart trail over here? All I'm gonna need is some rails. And I can either mine a lot of iron and probably make some, craft some myself, but I don't wanna do that. No, I found a cool cave that I just showed you. So, <gasps> I'm gonna try to find a mine shaft. They're not that hard to find, right? Okay, wait, I need to eat some steak. <gasps> Only one more piece to go. Also, I think we're gonna find some really cool mines because we seem to have updated to a new snapshot. Look, we got copper ore. All right, where shall we make this mine? Should I dig in this direction? This might take some time, but it's good that I have all day. <laughs> I don't need to fix up like my house being blown up by a troll or something like that. No, I got all day now. I just hope we find something. It will be good to find a mine shaft. Where are the caves, man? We're like almost on diamond level. There's still nothing here. Wait, whoa, what is that? This is a huge cave. Oh my, wait, it's the new snapshot. I gotta find a different way to go down. What is this place? Ah, ah, okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of mobs here. Also, my pickaxe is literally about to break. It would be good if we could find some new iron here. What's up, creeper? Hey! <laughs> All right, let's kill the skeleton. Let's kill the spider. There we go. That's the skeleton. This is easy. Oh, no, wait. I completely forgot. I ate my last piece of steak from Cowtown. Oh, man, that was a sad moment. What is this stuff, man? Wait, this is iron, right? Yes! That's actual iron ore. Okay, I can make a new pickaxe down here. I brought some wood. But then what is that? Gold ore. Everything looks so strange. Whoa! All right, there we go. We will be able to make a new pickaxe. You know what? I'm actually gonna make a shield as well. I don't usually do this, but they are quite useful. How do I do it again? Like that? Nope. No. That. Nope. No. Ah! It's like that. Aha. Hey, what's up, little zombies? Oh my god, wait, they're gonna hit <gasps> each other. <laughs> the creeper! Oh my god, yes. That's awesome. Kill it! Okay, creeper, come on. Yes! Okay, I gotta get some more torches, and then we will continue on the hunt for a mine shaft. Whoa, I'm doing real good. I, I feel like a pro right now. Ah! No! That's my my furnace. Okay, guys, I've got some bad news and I've got some good news. The good news is that this is a absolutely humongous cave. Like, I've been walking around here for so long right now and I haven't found any diamonds. I haven't found a mine shaft. Look at all those torches, man. <laughs> like, what is this place? So, yeah, I, I guess that's the bad news is that I haven't found anything yet. Wait a minute. Is that diamond? Yo! That's diamonds! Ah! Get out of the way! I just completely walked past that. Oh, look at that. Only two... I have never mined diamonds out of these new ores. I feel like you can see them much better. I think I'm just gonna have to start digging down somewhere. Because mine shafts are always low, right? Could we be below the mine shafts? I don't think so. All right, maybe we should just dig until we find bedrock and do that over and over again until we find something, I, I guess. Where shall we start? Maybe right here? Okay. Where is the stupid cobblestone? I'm on minus 34. I haven't found anything. Why am I saying cobblestone? I mean bedrock. Where's the bedrock? <gasps> bedrock. Okay. So minus 60 is the maximum depth. I feel like I could have Googled that. Um, now what? Are we going to have to do this over and over again? Seriously? All right. So I'm working on my way up, but I can actually hear a cave around me. You can hear like a skeleton or a zombie. Oh, or that. You see what I'm saying? We're like really close to something. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yes! Okay, we found a cave. This is a weird cave. This is a very skinny cave. Hello. Open that up, please. Thank you. Okay, this is... This is a dead end! Am I ever going to find a mine shaft? No way. Please. Please! This looks oddly familiar! Get out of here, spider! Please let it be! <gasps> yes! We found a mine shaft! Okay, bad thing is I only have two more torches. It would be good if we could find some coal. What is this stuff? Calcite? Like calcium? Oh, rails! Yo, we found rails! Yes, I swear this took an hour, but it's okay. 
It's worth it for B Tower. For B, the sickest tower. <laughs> oh, yes. Any coal anywhere, guys? All right, we have some more torches. Let's keep going this way. This is a very strange mine shaft. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Like, what is this? Wow, amethyst shard. Whoa, I'm rich, man. B Tower for the win. All right, well, I'm on my last bread, so I'm quickly gonna look around for more mine cart rails, and then we're going back up. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we have some more. Ow. Dude, this is a crazy mine shaft. I feel like a lot of rooms are closed, so I'm gonna have to open some up. Ow, seriously, I'm so sick and tired of you. You're so weak. Wait a minute, I'm about to die. We should get out of here. Okay, let's pick up the last pieces. Okay, my iron pickaxe is literally about to break. That is not good. And I ran out of torches again. All right, we're going back up. This will take some time, but that's all right. We have a lot of rails. Yes. All right. See you later, beautiful cave. It's time to go. Woohoo! This was not that hard to find back. I, had, I didn't even lose more health. This is, this is great. Anyways, now that I'm back, some of the food is fully grown. So let's just real quick make a chest here. And we will put some wheat in there. I think that'll be useful. Would you look at all of that food? Man, I'm starving. We will replant the seeds as well, because otherwise this is a completely useless farm. There we go. I am never starving again. We have so much food here in B-Town. And there we go. Two more pieces of seeds. Blip blop. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. It's not that much bread. It's not really that much. Where were we? The whole reason we needed minecart rails for, for our tower. By the way, we'll probably take a long, long time to be built. All right, so maybe we start it over here. Yes. All right, all right. There we go. That's more like it. And, oh my God, we literally just about have enough. Nice. Let's go make a minecart. Okay, have some iron. That should just about be enough. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, obviously this is going to be a redstone powered minecart rail so we can go back up. However, I forgot to bring redstone. So we'll just go, go, go back down for now. Three, two, one. Woohoo! Yeah, look at that. It's a little roller coaster. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And now the last thing I want to do is make B Tower visible. For the rest of the world. Yeah, it's not gonna be that pretty yet, but we're we're definitely gonna start making it a tower right now. It's really not that hard. All you do is um, build build up. Yeah. Okay. The question is, how high do we make it? We're on 104. Should we go for 150? Is that too much? That's maybe a bit too much. Whoa! That might actually be high enough. All right. The way we'll go down is um. Wait, no. That's not gonna that's gonna break my rails. Oh, I'm so dumb. No. Oh. 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 All right, that is all. Would you look at the view? Oh my god, you can see my house. You can see Craner's house. You can see the farm. Combo Lake. Okay, let's jump down quickly and have a look from the outside. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that looks great. I just logged onto my server and we've got a lot of bees in my house. Oh no. Are there signs too? There are signs. Great. Usually it's Slogo the one that does the trolls. Okay, I gotta be really careful. Do I damage bees by opening doors? Like, does that make them angry? Because then I will die. And that's that's not good. Also, if bees get angry, there's a chance of them dying. Oh, that's not that's not good. Okay, we can maybe go through this door. <laughs> Hello, bees. What is this place? What happened? Are my diamonds still safe? Oh, my diamonds are safe. And the ones that I found in the previous video are still in my inventory. Great. Okay, what's this? Hi, Jelly. You allowed me. Wait, no, no, no. Beanie! Beanie, 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 beanie. Is Beanie okay? Beanie, stop being silly and get out. Beanie! Oh, there he is. Beanie, what are you doing, mate? Okay, he's still, he's still happy and alive. Good. Where were we? Hi, Jelly. You allowed me and my child, Floppy. Oh, this is from Craner. To stay in your town. Wait, I should probably read this with a Craner accent. You allowed me and my child, Floppy, to stay in your town. Amazing friend you are. I heard you like bees, like I like fish. So I gave you bees. Seriously, Craner? I mean, I like bees. But this is a bit overkill, isn't it? Also, can anybody please tell me why Craner has this fish obsession? They literally don't do anything. At least bees make honey. All right, how do I get them out of here? Uh, I need a flower. Hello, bees. This way, this way. I'm gonna have to do some serious revenge on Craner because this is kind of messed up. You can't just trap all the bees of Bee Town. Look, there's literally none around in my house, Craner. That is not okay. Okay, come on, bees. Come on, out, out. Out. Okay, last once. Perfect. Okay, Beanie, you're still safe. Good boy. Wait a minute. He's got honey for me. Yes, thank you, Beanie. Oh, Beanie is the greatest honeybee ever. 
Tastes delicious. Make me more. So Craner thinks I invited him to stay in B-Town. No, I didn't invite him. He just moved in. What's up, Floppy? The one and only Floppy. Okay. Hello, Floppy. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Now you have to swim in my spit. Guys, is it just me or just Floppy? Look a little bit fragile over here. There's nothing protecting him. We need to protect Floppy. Okay, I have the best idea ever. It's a little bit dangerous. It's a dangerous job. However, I think we will manage. I'm gonna try to fill Craner's house with creepers. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the previous episode, I actually dug my way into a cave. It is actually this way, and we go down right here. There it is. And then we walk all the way down to find this. Placed a bunch of torches so no mobs would spawn. However, I'm sure we'll be able to find some creepers. Oh, there's literally skeletons there. All right, where are the creepers? I need some creepers. There's a zombie here. Okay. <gasps> Creeper. Creeper. Come with me, buddy. Come with me, buddy. Zombie. You stay here. <laughs> ah! Come with me. Come to Papa. I'm going to bring you to a brand new house. Okay, and now up. Can we do that? Without blowing up, please. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Wait. Hey! All of you. Yes. I got their attention. I got their attention. All right, the zombie will die. Whoa, this is so much more difficult than I thought. Okay, the zombie's dead. Good, good, good. Creepers, follow me, please. A couple of steps further. Yes! Welcome to B-Town, creepers. You will enjoy your stay. <laughs> All right, please, bees, don't attack the creepers. They are here for our protection. And even more specifically, for Craner's floppies protection. Flop floppy the fish. Craner's fish. Okay, I'm gonna run in. Okay, now they will leave me alone, right? I need a little bit of a get out thing here. Here's the plan. First things first, I'm gonna make sure floppy's safe. There we go. I don't want him to die in case this blows up. Then we get a creeper in here. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Like nothing happened, right? Looks the same. We've got Floppy here still. He's safe. Okay, except for the sign. I put a door on each side. We're gonna have to get both creepers. One is here and one is here. I need I need both of them to be on the same side. Okay, this time we're gonna open this door. I'm gonna walk in. Yes, they're in, they're in. Close the other door, close the other door. Oh, they're inside. <laughs> And they're flopping around in Floppy's water. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get some more creepers. I gotta make sure Floppy's safe. I don't wanna kill him, because this is funny, okay? I'm gonna quickly make a chest. Sorry, Tree, you're gonna have to go, buddy. You've had a good life. Oh, also, B Tower. Yeah, I'll show you later. Okay, Floppy's in here. He's safe. Let's go get some more creepers. Okay, we've got three more. Creepers are so smart, man. Who would have thought? Okay, this time, instead of going through the front door, I actually built a little staircase that we're gonna climb over together with the creepers, and hopefully they will fall into a hole to be trapped. Okay, wait. Oh, that one's stuck. Okay, here's the staircase. Be dumb. Be dumb. Ah! <laughs> That did not work out. This time, I'm using a fishing rod. I think it might work if I'm smart enough. You see, the problem is the creepers. They're so smart. Ah! How can creepers be smarter than me? How am I so dumb? Okay, I think one's on the roof. Nope. Okay. Maybe this is a better plan, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! That's four. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How, 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 how? Yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! no! My fishing rod. My fishing rod broke. How did he blow up from there? All right, there you go. I think that looks pretty good. The last thing I gotta do is replace the back door with wood and glass. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, we did it. And now we just gotta make some signs for Craner and tell him. Oh no, wait, I gotta put his fish back. Wait, how am I, how am I gonna put his fish back? <laughs> how am I supposed to do this? Okay, I, I think I have an idea. We can make him go in from the top, right? All we gotta do is break this block and then place down the fish. And then pick it up again. <laughs> oh, is he alive? It's Floppy flopping in the water. Can anybody see Floppy? Yes. He's in there! He's swimming! Look, there he is! <laughs> I did it! I did it! I have protected Floppy! Floppy is now protected from... Uh... From... The bees? That was like the most stressful thing ever! Okay, now we can play some signs. Dear Craner, I have protected Floppy from all the dangers in B-Town. I'm sure he loves it. Kind regards. 
your honey jelly. <laughs> Get it, honey? Because honey comes from bees. Oh my goodness. That was, I think, one of the best trolls I've ever done. How is Beanie doing? Beanie? Oh my god. Beanie, you haven't. Beanie made even more honey for me? Two refills in one video, Beanie? Whoa! Beanie's the best! Anyways, I've been working a lot on this town, and here is the rail to B Tower. I just wait a little bit, and a minecart comes down, and then we can take that minecart up to the top. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> We've got to give him a name, guys. We've got to give the bee in the minecart a name. Please come up with a name in the comment section below, and in the next video, we will name that bee will be my second best friend and we will take his honey don't worry we will all right i'll go up like this then blip, blip. oh okay no nope, yeah yeah there we go there we go going to the top yeah oh no no okay i'll just get out that bee ruined everything he's, he's having way too much fun up here we have the new bee tower in the previous episode i said that i would be working on this and wow look at this guys we've got some honeycomb blocks we've got some oak blocks some deep slate blocks which are from the new um snapshot and a lot of ladders and the ladders take me to the top just take some time almost there Almost there. It was a big tower to be fair. Here we are the top of B tower Here we can look around our world and make sure that Slogo hasn't invited himself yet because trust me He is not invited Slogo! It's like a loud echo over these hills. Do you hear that? I just logged on to this game and there are creepers in my house uh. At 150,000 likes, I will upload another Beat Town video. Otherwise, it's over. And make sure you go to the jelly store. We have a lot of cool things like hoodies, t-shirts, caps, beanies. Oh, got him. Because my bee is named Beanie, and I actually got to make sure he's safe. All right, what's this? Thanks for protecting Floppy. Thought I would do the same to your dumb bee. Seriously, Craner, is this what I deserve? All right, so if I get too close to the creepers, they will blow up. And I got to make sure that my bee survives. Is he in here? Beanie! I gotta make sure he's in here. Beanie! Okay. Oh, Beanie! Beanie, you're alive! Oh, I love you. I'm gonna protect you from these creepers, okay? Craner's mean. They are not good. These creepers will kill you if you get too close. Don't, don't die. All right, so I'm gonna need to think of a plan on how to get these creepers out safely without killing my bee. Why is there a bunch of signs at Craner's house? Last time I was there, I only placed three. Wait, what? what is this? How dare you nearly kill my bee? As payback, I have kidnapped your stupid fish and hidden it where you will never find it. I've not kidnapped. Wait a minute, what? Floppy! I protected Floppy with creepers! Wait a minute. <gasps> I think this is Josh! Also, I am so smart that I'm going to forget where I hit the fish so that I won't be able to tell you. I'm even going to pretend I never even touched your fish. Mwahaha, <laughs> lots of love, Jelly. This is Josh. Has Slogo found us? Slogo! I'm gonna have to go on top of our tower, B Tower, to see if I can see a little Slogo somewhere. Alright, now let's get rid of these signs first because we gotta save Beanie. That's kind of like my priority here. I'm getting distracted. Also, I have two diamonds in my inventory and some more diamonds in that furnace. Wait a minute. Is this broken? Oh, that's that's dangerous. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the doors. We're gonna attract them a little further. Yes. All right, now I'm gonna have to kill them. I don't have a sword with me. Great. How am I supposed to do this? What? Why did I do this? Help! Where am I going? I'm gonna climb this. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, maybe I'm just gonna have to let them blow up. They're literally following me. Wait, it's only one. It's only one. Ah! Okay. Okay. I can keep doing that, right? If I keep eating, if I keep eating, I think I might survive. Also, I have the high ground here. All right. Maybe to be even safer, I can make myself a shield and a sword. How do you make a shield again? Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, there we go. All right, and a sword. All right, where are you, dumb bees? Bees? I mean creepers. All right, there's one more here. All right. We're creating a lot of holes here on this hill now, but that's okay. That hill is not a part of B-Town. That's true. All right. Okay, this is going quite all right. Wait, wood? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, um, I don't want these creepers to blow up this close at B-Town. So I'm really just gonna bring them to that hill over there because nobody cares about that hill. Come on, little creepers. You're gonna have to die. I can't believe Craner did this without blowing anything of B-Town up. How does that make any sense? Up here, should we go all the way to the top, maybe? Oh, look how pretty it is here. Come on up, I'm gonna stand right over here with my shield. Yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Even got gunpowder from that. 
All right, I think we have about one or two more. Where are they? Hey, why is there a sign here that says nothing? Did I get them all? Okay, I, I guess I, I guess I got them all. All right, Beanie, 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 Beanie. I hope you're safe. Okay, before we continue, I need to tell you quite a sad story. <coughs> Inside of this thing lives Beanie the bee. Although, apparently bees die once they sting you. And I think Beanie stung me once, which means that the bee that is inside of that nest is not actually Beanie. <laughs> Beanie has died a long time ago without me realizing. Does it really matter? I don't think it really matters, does it? Whoop. Hey, you are Beanie now. Yeah, whoever's trapped inside of my little bee cave is called Beanie. That's how it works. All right, that's six honey bottles from Beanie the Bee. Anyways, now that Beanie is safe, we gotta kind of figure out what these signs are all about. And I'm wondering, should I leave them here? Because, well, Craner's gotta know that somebody took his fish, but I don't want it to be me. Oh my god, there's a creeper on my roof. Okay, no, 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 no. We have somewhere else to go, buddy. You're coming with me. We're going to the ugly mountain. We spit on that mountain. Whoop! All right, come on in. And get angry. Boom. Yay. Anyways, let's go to B Tower and see if we can find Slogo. In the last episode, I wanted you guys to figure out a name for this, um, uh, minecart bee. Woo! 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 Yeah! Come on, minecart bee! You guys left a lot of cool suggestions in the comments. So, uh, at the end of this episode, I'll pick a name. All right, let's go up to B Tower and see if we can find little Slogo. Because apparently he's hiding somewhere. Probably has a really ugly dirt house somewhere. Because, well, that's what Josh always builds. <laughs> ugly, ugly. Hmm. Okay. Okay, here we are. We've got my house right down there with the glass roof. Craner's house right there. He seems to have an open roof. Okay. We've got the farm. Looks fine. We got some melons growing there. I planted those. Combo lake over here. It's combo because there's some lava. <gasps> there's a boat over there. Craner does love boats. It could have been Craner. That's the mountain that I was blowing creepers up. We've got a cow over there. Moo, cow, moo. Okay, I don't actually see anything. Please let me know in the comments if you know where Josh is. Please just snitch on him. Like, I don't want him to be here. Can he not just leave us alone? Okay, we seem to have a ravine over here. I already knew about that. And there's a sheep in the in the mountain there. You see that? Hello, sheep! All right, I'm gonna go uh, check out that boat. And if I don't see any clues over there, then I actually don't know where he is. Josh is just the type of guy to just not leave any clues. I guess he doesn't want to be found. Okay, so there was a boat over there. Where did this boat come from? I need to find a crafting table somewhere. Then I know where the boat has been crafted. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna help, guys. I don't think this is gonna help. Can I stop doing that? Nope. Although this looks weird. Is it just a cave entrance? It's just a cave entrance. Okay. All right. Well, let's head back. I'll leave the boat over here. All right. B Tower looking good in the background. Now, Josh made it seem like I stole Floppy. So I got to make sure that I don't look sus here. How do I make myself not look sus? There is absolutely no evidence that Slogo was here. Except for the signs. But the signs say it was me. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna have to do something. I have a genius idea! I have a genius idea! I am going to fake and pretend that Slogo has stolen my diamonds. <gasps> yes! That's a good idea! All I need is a bunch of signs and I need to hide my actual diamonds. Okay, let's put some signs in front of my house. I was snooping around in Beat Town and I managed to find your diamonds. Thanks, Slogo. <laughs> yeah, and now I will put similar signs at Craner's place, but say that I stole his fish instead of the diamonds. Oh, well, that Slogo stole the fish, not me. I hope this is making sense, guys. I think Craner will fall for it. I, I mean, I didn't steal his fish, so it's, this has got to be done. This, is, this has to be done. Hey, Craner. I thought your fish looked kind of cute, so I decided to adopt him. I hope you don't mind. Slow go. I think this will work. So now Craner will log on to the server. He's gonna be like, oh no, where's my fishy fishy? And then he sees that Slogo is here. Although he's gonna probably look for Slogo and not find him or something. But that's okay. At least I won't get the blame for it. Now, the last thing I'm gonna have to do is actually hide my diamonds. This is not a good spot for him. And because Slogo is here now, this is, I think, the perfect time and opportunity to create a secret cave. Now, I know the perfect spot for a secret cave. Blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. Yeah, look at that. I've already prepared something. You guys didn't know that, did you? 
Well, I did. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be my secret hideout. This is where I will be hiding my diamonds. And I have to do this because otherwise Craner knows that I'm lying. Like, seriously, I have to hide them. Jelly's secret chest. Don't steal. You think that'll work, guys? I don't know. I think it will. All we gotta do now is get my diamonds. Blah, blah, blah. Do I have any other valuables? Oh, yes, I do. And I will simply put those in my secret chest. Blip. Oh, beautiful. Now I gotta close this off with some real stone. So let's get um let's get let's get some real stone, I guess. Beanie the bee, you stay there, okay? Don't you dare get in here. Alright, that's all the stone. I'll take this. I'll, I'll break it. Blip. Put some torches down. Perfect. This is my new Secret room! No one will find it! Absolutely no one. He's got some more honey. Beanie, really? That's quickly, buddy. Really? Oh, thank you, Beanie! Don't hurt me, buddy! Don't hurt me, okay? Because then you die. Guess I gotta change this floor. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait, I think Craner might have used this for the creepers? Yeah! Craner found your dumb creeper hole. And we shall close it. Why did he dig a tunnel to my house? I think he did it for the creepers, but I mean, he could have just done it a different way. All right, so we'll close this off. Oh, don't I have enough wood now? Ah, where's the wood? The wood's on the trees. There we go. Ah, oh, all right. Now, where were we? We got to name this guy. I introduced you to <coughs> be in a minecart. Minecraft? Minecart. His name is being a minecart. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Slogo is here somewhere. I just don't know where. But this is Craner's house with this large fish tank. And that's my house. And I have a pet bee named oh, Beanie the Bee. Beanie the Bee is the greatest bee of Bee Town. Look. Hello, Beanie. How you doing today? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm feeling a little bit thirsty. Beanie the Bee. I gotta take some of your honey. Although, he's a little bit close. He's gonna get angry. Wait, was there another bee in there? Uh, I'm confused. Beanie the Bee is officially going to be the mayor of Bee Town. That's right. In today's video, I am going to pay a builder diamonds to create a giant bee sculpture that's going to be the home of Beanie the mayor. Beanie's getting an upgrade. He's the best bee in the world. His honey tastes like honey. Just good honey, okay? Now, in case you don't know, I actually have a secret chest room where I've got my diamonds. It's right behind here. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. There's some signs here. My diamonds. My... Nope. Ah! <laughs> Why? And how? What is going on here? Hi, Jelly. Just wanted to let you know that I have taken a small loan so I can expand Floppy's fish tank and move him to an organic food plant. This is the lamest thing I have ever heard. Whoever came up with this, it says Craner is lame. So quick backstory. Craner has his own fish named Floppy and he lives right here in this giant fish tank. The biggest aquarium in B-Town. Where is he? Where's that dumb fish of his? There he is. What do you mean? Where is the organic food? I don't understand what this is all about. Where are my diamonds? I was gonna make Beanie the mayor of B-Town. This is not fair, Beanie. Don't worry, buddy. Oh. Don't worry, buddy. I know you're in there. I'm gonna make you a beautiful home. Don't sting me. Okay, so apparently my diamonds are gone. Now I can't pay a builder. Great. It literally says don't steal on the sign. How hard can this be? Do you think Josh is behind this? Oh, I have a great idea. I still don't know where Josh lives, but we do have a giant tower over there. It's called the B Tower. And maybe if we climb B Tower, we'll be able to see something. We gotta wait for B in a minecart though. We gotta travel up together. What's up, B in a minecart? Hey, I'll join you, buddy. All right, let's go up. So this right here is Combo Lake. We've got water and lava. That's why it's called Combo Lake. Oh, <laughs> and then over here is the entrance to my B Tower. Look how beautiful. I was thinking the sculpture of Beanie the Bee should be somewhere over here. But let's just climb the tower and see if we can spot anything. We gotta find out who stole these diamonds. The sign said it was Craner, but that means it's probably Josh. Craner and I have been good to each other. You know what I mean? All right, what's new? We got our farm, looks fine. We've got our cave system, looks fine. We've got flowers, looks fine. We've got the mountain. Okay, I, I haven't seen that water before. Does water just naturally appear? Or is it placed? 
I'm gonna go investigate. Does Josh live there? Please tell me Josh lives there. I would like to find him and find my diamonds back. I moved away from Cowtown to live in a peaceful world. Okay, hmm. I've got a fountain. It leads into here. Okay. This actually looks quite natural. Have I just not realized that there was a fountain here before? Okay, hello pig. How's it going? No pigs allowed in B-Town, just saying. All right, let's go up this fountain. Bloop, 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 bloop. You see, I can swim up fountains. I'm really good at this stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta stop this fountain. We gotta stop this fountain. Is this gonna kill me? It's actually working. I heard something. That's a piston. That's a piston. Where is it? It's like in front of me. Okay. Oh, no way. Oh my goodness. Is this Josh's base? Where are my diamonds? Where are my diamonds? What is this lame base? Josh has got a lame base. <laughs> He's probably like hid my diamonds somewhere behind here, right? Like behind here, maybe. I'm so confused. This is not fair. Josh has got a secret base and it's lame. Let's just tell him. Found your lame base. Okay, there's actually no evidence here that it was Josh who stole the diamonds. Also, let's just make a pathway so we know where it is. And there's no evidence that Craner did it. This is great. I cannot blame either of them. Wow, I'm such a great investigator. All right, now we have a little pathway to Josh's house so we don't forget where it is. I guess in the next episode, we'll go back there and see if it has changed. But for now, where are my diamonds? I wanted to pay a builder to build me a beautiful sculpture. Am I really gonna have to do this myself? Craner, please tell me. Uh... I'll take this. Ah! I don't like this game anymore. I don't like this. Should I move out of B-Town? No! Beanie's the greatest bee ever, and he deserves the world. I am going to do it myself. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I need shears. Do I have shears anywhere? Shears! Nobody have shears! Okay, I guess I'll have to kill the sheep. We gotta go find some sheep and get some wool. I'm gonna need a lot of it. Hello, little sheepsies. Got some sheep over here. Do I really kill them? This feels mean. Also, you only get one white wool. No, let's just get some iron instead. Ooh, there we go. All right, all right. Let's take some of this and then make some shears. This is gonna be fine. All right, let's get some yellow dye and black dye because we're gonna need this for our sculpture. And we'll take the iron, make some nice shears and get started. <laughs> oh, sorry, sheep. Boop. Oh, thank you. You look rather bald. <laughs> all right, a yellow sheep. Okay, this is gonna take some time, isn't it? Beep. Ooh. Boop. Ooh. All right, we've got a healthy amount of wool now, and I think we can get started on our sculpture. Should we make it like right over here? First, we build out a little bit <laughs> with dirt. I'm really good at this. And then we start with the butt. I think we're gonna make it seven wide. That's seven. And then seven high. Oh, Beanie is gonna love this. Would you just look at this, guys? We are making a giant bee. Quite literally a giant bee. It's gonna fly over Bee Town, and everybody's gonna look at it and say, wow, that's Beanie. Beanie the bee. The greatest bee that has ever lived in Bee Town. It has never died. Trust me. Oh, this is starting to look pretty good. But I think, um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna need a lot of more wool. Three days later. All right, I think this is personally starting to look pretty good from the inside. I want to look real quick what it looks like from the outside right now. However, I still don't have a face. The face of Beanie is rather pretty. So that's going to be uh, quite a challenge to recreate. But look at the side. I've got to fill that with some more yellow. But wow, it's starting to look good. Oh, Beanie, man. Beanie. You're going to love it, buddy. You're gonna love it. I don't know if we can manage to make the wings though. That might be a little bit tricky, but we can always try. All right, let's go back up and continue a little bit. Three weeks later. And the final pieces. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, we're on the inside. I wanna look at it from the outside. We just exited Beanie's butt. And now we're going down. Beanie the Bee, his sculpture is done. It looks amazing. Look at the wings. And you know what? I didn't even have to pay a builder for this. No, I did this all myself. All we've got to do now is bring Beanie from one nest to the other. Although, maybe I should make a new nest. That's right, Beanie, you're moving. You're going to be a mayor. Okay, we need honeycombs and blocks. Oh, easy. All right, Beanie. Come with me, buddy. Come with me. There we go. There we go. 
Yes, 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 yes. You're going to move. Oh, look at Beanie doing a good job. I think Beanie and Bean in my cart are such great friends. All right. Just a little more. Just a little more. All right. No, no, no. Mine are more important. No. Beanie gets quite distracted. I'm not sure he's a great ruler of this town. But he's gonna be a great ruler. We'll just have to teach him. That's right, Beanie. Come with me, Beanie. Yes. Yes! Beanie the bee! Bloop. Yes! You shall stay in here forever. Stay, 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 stay! Hey! And now you shall stay in here forever. There we go. Leave. Yes! All right! Beanie the bee has his own house. Beanie the mayor lives in the giant bee. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Look how beautiful it is. I feel like I did such a good job with it. I need everybody in the comment section to let me know where my diamonds are. Does Craner have them? Does Slogo have them? Please let me know. Because then, Beanie the mayor is gonna kick him out of the island. Or town, not island. Town! And this is my house! And I've been trolled. Ah! Why? Great, just fantastic. To honor my pet bee, I built this beautiful bee structure, which is now covered by water. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea who did this or why even. What did Beanie ever do to Craner or Slogo? I think we gotta go and check up on Beanie. Beanie, are you okay? I'm coming for you. Okay, be in a cart. Really? Could you not have waited for me? All right, okay. Oh no, 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 there's signs, there's signs. Hey, Jelly. I saw you made a giant statue of your dumb bee, Beanie. Excuse me? Excuse me? Beanie is the mayor of B-Town. Saying bad things about him means war. Obviously, Floppy is the superior pet. He is way better, so I decided to ruin your statue of your pet bee. Good luck getting rid of the obsidian, bud. What? There's obsidian? I don't even have diamond. Ah! Craner did this. Craner did this. Craner did this. Little bit of context. Craner has an aquarium right over there. You see it? He's got a pet fish that he calls Floppy. And I personally think it's kind of lame. My pet bee, Beanie, is much cooler. Beanie, if you are dead, I will be disappointed. Beanie? Beanie! He's alive. Okay, he's alive. Good, 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 good. We leave him here. We leave him here. Okay. What has Craner done? Ah, but it seems like Craner is just angry at me for having a pet bee. That doesn't make any sense to me. But it's war, Craner. This is unacceptable. Okay, I think we got rid of it all. Are you kidding me? My bee is ruined. <laughs> think, Jelly. Think. What kind of a troll can I do back? Think. Okay, I'm gonna think of a really cool troll idea while I remove this ugly cobblestone platform. <laughs> Use your big brain, Jelly thing. I know exactly. I know exactly how we're going to solve this. And when I say we, I mean you and me. We are going to start a pet war. A war about pets. I personally think Beanie the Bee is the best pet. Crater thinks Floppy the Fish is the best pet in Minecraft. But we spit on fish. <laughs> if this video reaches 100,000 likes, I will release a Team Beanie t-shirt. The only way to prove how this war ends is to see who you support. Do you do you support me with a Beanie T? Or do you support Craner? Probably not, nope. Because you're watching this video right now, so you probably support me. I'll leave a sign at Craner's telling him to compete with me in this pet war. And then it's up to all of you to decide if you support Beanie or if you support Floppy. Now, before I leave him those signs, we gotta troll him back. We gotta troll him back. I am planning to build a Floppy statue. We've got the Beanie statue right over here. And we'll build a Floppy statue in this water, maybe? And that Floppy statue is gonna be ugly. Yeah, it is true. And also filled with TNT. <laughs> now, let's have a quick close look at Floppy. Cause we're gonna build him a statue. Floppy! Floppy! Oh, this dumb fish, what is he doing? Okay, we got a little bit of yellow. We have some white and some black eyes. All right, now I don't wanna spend too long in the statue because it's gonna be blown up. It doesn't have to be pretty, but we'll try our best. Okay, we need some white also. Thank you, thank you, sheep. 
A very nice job. I will come back later when you are fully grown wool. All right, let's go to some water. We'll build the statue right over here. In the water. Or maybe a little bit above. A, a little bit above makes more sense. All right, starting to look pretty good. A couple of more pieces needed. However, let's quickly uh, have a look what it looks like on the outside. Craner thinks he's gonna be so happy. Okay, you know what? Looks pretty good, but we're gonna have to add some fins. I realize that now, this looks a bit odd without fins. But that's okay, that's no problem. We're gonna blow it up anyway. Doesn't have to be perfect. Or well, Craner is gonna blow it up. <laughs> Pet war! All right, some pieces over here. Hmm. I think this looks pretty good. Should we have a quick look on uh, the outside? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. What do you think, stupid trader? I think this looks pretty good. Okay, maybe even too good for it to be blowing up. Floppy's statue exists. The war is becoming real. <laughs> okay, now, next stop. We gotta fill it with some TNT. How does this go again? Is it like this? Nope. I swear I always mess this up. Aha. Okay, now let's see how many can we make. Oh, six. That's not too bad. One, two, 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 two. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to need a little bit of redstone. We connect it. There we go. All right. That looks perfect. And now, don't touch the lever. An iron door. Boop. Aha. And now he thinks there's something really cool inside of his fish, and he will use the lever to get in. <laughs> All right, let's leave some signs. Hey, Crater, please don't touch Beanie's statue ever again. Since you were so jealous, I decided to build you a floppy statue. There's a small present inside. <laughs> P.S. Please clean up the obsidian. I don't have diamonds. Okay, there's one more sign I want to leave right here. It is war. Beanie is the best pet. He's even got his own t-shirt coming soon. Only if this video reaches 100,000 likes. Now let's hope that he reached those signs in the end. I'm guessing some of the wool will be blown up, but those signs will still be standing. I personally think this was a great troll. And hopefully if he reached those signs first, he actually cleans up my beanie statue obsidian before he even visits his own. <laughs> I want to end this episode with getting some honey. From my bee. I still have some leftovers, so I don't need to go all the way up there. Mmm, tastes so good! Right there is my bee sculpture. Inside of the bee sculpture lives my bee! Called Beanie. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the mayor of Bee Town, and he has been threatened by Craner! Which means it's war! I'm not even kidding. War is here! Craner has his own pet named Floppy. Look, there he is. There he is. Floppy has the biggest aquarium in town, but nobody cares because he's literally a fish. I see an even bigger aquarium out there. In the previous episode, I said that if the previous video reached 100,000 likes, I would release a beanie t-shirt. And well, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to announce. Oh, yes, it's happening. Oh, yes. I am here to announce the official beanie tea. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful. It's actually amazing look at the little color as well and the tiny little hanger with my logo on it oh don't you think he's so pretty now listen this t-shirt is going to be a limited drop it will be released on the 27th of may at 1 p.m eastern and it will only be available for the rest of may so if you want a beanie tea then make sure you go to the jelly store at 27th of may first p.m first p.m 1 p.m eastern especially if you think beanie is the best pet okay I personally think he is. Floppy kind of sucks. And well, Josh is Josh. Beanie merch. It's happening. Let's go tell him. Let's go tell him. What's up, Bean Minecart? We'll join him for the ride. Whee! Oh. <coughs> ah! I'm not so lucky. That's more like it. That's more like it. Bean in Minecart. Ah, oh, Bean in Minecart. Did you really have to push me back down? Let's go together. Nope. Uh, I'm on my way to a new path to Beanie the Mayor. Look at him. This is the backside of his sculpture that is overlooking B-Town. My house is right over here. Craner's house with Floppy inside is there. The farm, the tower, and a mountain. Josh lives there somewhere. Mayor Beanie. Beanie! Beanie! I have big news, Beanie! I have giant news! I gotta wake him up. Beanie? Bibi. Bibi, Bibi. B -b -b Beanie, please wake up. Do I really have to be mean? Oh, there he is! There he is! Beanie! The ma- 
mayor of B-Town. Look at him doing all kinds of hard work here. Beanie, you are getting your own t-shirt. Yup, Floppy isn't. Nope, Floppy sucks. Beanie's the best. 27th of May, 1 p.m. Easter. Beanie's the best. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Now, listen, enough chit chat. I actually have a plan for today's video. Yeah, and it actually has something to do with Beanie because he's the mayor of B Town. I, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, want to invite Slogo to come live in B Town. Yeah, he lives in a mountain right now. I feel kind of sad for him. He doesn't have an awesome bee like me. So let's go tell him what's up. All right, here's the pathway to Slogo's home. He's got like a lever system here i don't really get it but here it is wait a minute found your lame base jelly he's not been here are you kidding me josh i thought he finally moved to b-town and then he was gonna be like fun what's this oh my god it's a lever whoa no way are you kidding me this is a decoy base and this is slogo's real base oh my god there's a bunch of signs <gasps> there's a dog wolf hello dog bork josh also has a pet what could somebody have told me this this is completely new to me wolf yeah i like doggies bork what else does he have a farm with pigs hello pigs and a farm with melons Okay, let's read these signs. Hey, Josh, I found your secure base. Here's the deal, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is Craner. Craner already knew about this. He's got a fake floppy in here. Wait a minute. Oh, there he is. Fake floppy. He kind of looks similar, equally as ugly. Bork, are you trapped in Slogo's home? And daddy hasn't been here for a while. That's so sad. I gotta introduce Bork to Beanie. I gotta do it. I'm gonna go get a leash. Or does Josh have a leash? Does Josh have a leash? No. I have to get a leash. I'll be back, Bork. So Josh has his own pet too is that what's happening here i'm kind of sad that i didn't know about this i feel a little bit left out beanie is of course still the best pet in this game wait a minute wait a minute the sign's here hi jelly it is officially war i already knew that craner you blew up floppy statue oh yeah <laughs> i completely forgot about this i built craner a statue right over there and i blew it up i even cleaned up your dumb bee i will own you in this merch war Wait, what? Floppy merch is better than beanie merch. Floppy is a dumb name, too. Are you kidding me? Crater's releasing his own merch, too. Okay, I'm getting really distracted here. No, 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 no. Look at that statue back there. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. Look at it real good. And now look at the floppy statue. Huh? Non-existent. It's war. I didn't even know Craner was releasing his floppy tee. But apparently Craner's releasing a floppy tee. Are you Team Beanie? I am Team Beanie. Are you Team Beanie? We spit on floppy merch. <laughs> but we love Beanie merch. You gotta prove yourself on whose side are you on. Are you on Craner's side or are you on Jelly's side? I guess you'll have to um, vote on the 27th of May at 1 p.m. Eastern. I mean, it says it on these signs. Look, Bows of the founder of B-Town, the great and magnificent, beautiful and amazing Jelly. Cool, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, I still want to involve Bork in this somehow. So let's go get a leash. Come with me, Bork. <laughs> Come with me, Bork. Seriously? I can't bring a sitting dog? Bork! There he is. Bork! More like dumb dork <laughs> he's angry at me now he's literally angry can i feed him something do i get a bone or something do I, does josh have bones yes he does yes yeah you like that bone come with me then Bork. he doesn't like me i can't bring him because he's sitting down maybe i should tell josh lame dog <laughs> let's go build him a little house instead like i said i feel like bork is a little lonely in there inside of josh's house because he actually never joins the server so why don't we make a cute little home in beat down for bork just for Bork. Bork is all right. All right. Floppy's lame. Beanie's the best. Beanie merch, 27th of May. All right. We're going to need some fences and a couple of signs and some water, some food. Fences. Should I make a stone wall fence? Is that a good Is that a good thing? Okay. We got some water. Let's fill this up. I mean, buckets. We need to fill it up with water. Do we have some food for the dog? Maybe flowers. It's a bee town after all. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is going to be Bork's home. Josh is not taking care of him very well. And I love dogs. I would build Josh a little place where he could live so he doesn't have to live in the mountain anymore. But Josh never joins. Why? All right, Bork. I guess um, there's going to be a little pool right here for little Bork. There will never be any stranded pets in B-Town. B-Town is the most peaceful town in the world. It's true. Find any other world where they have as much peace as in B-Town. Impossible. If Bork gets hungry, he can eat the steak. If he wants to, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun, he can have the bone. If he's thirsty, he's got the water. And we need a little house for him. But that's more 
complicated, I feel like. How do we make a doghouse? I know how, I know how. Okay, uh, we need a couple of stairs. Just like that, that should be enough. We could actually, we could use the, we could use the wall. Ah, this area's too small. We need to make it a little bit wider, guys. We need to make it a little bit wider. I think... This will do the trick. Yo, I'm like, uh, kind of proud of myself here for this one. A little slab for the roof. Yeah, doghouse. Look how awesome. We'll make it nice and cozy for him. And we'll place the water over here then. There we go. We have a little doghouse for Josh. Now, how do we make a stone gate wall? Can we make, can we make a gate wall? I don't know if that's actually possible. We'll just make a wooden one like... This, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm big brain. Ha! Yes! That actually looks pretty good. We'll remove the crafting table. And there we go. A new pet has made it to B-Town. And this is actually a pretty nice house for Bork. Josh's dog. I don't really care about Josh himself, but it, it, it's kind of nice in here. I really like it. Let's leave a little sign. Bork's house. And now I guess we got to tell Josh. We have a new pet in B-Town. Or I actually have no idea how long Bork's been alive for. He might not even be new. Josh might have had him for a long time. I seriously have no idea. One thing I do know is that Floppy sucks. And Beanie is much better. Hi, Josh. I made Bork a house and play area right across B-Town. Next to Gombo Lake. He deserves a nicer house than this. Bork. I'm sorry, buddy. Your big boss is gonna have to take you there because I unfortunately can't. I cannot right-click you. I cannot make you stand up. You're a good dog, Bork. Hopefully, Josh will move you into a nicer area than this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am reminding you. <gasps> look how good B-Town looks. And especially Beanie's beautiful statue. The 27th of May at 1 p.m. Eastern, I'm releasing a Beanie tea. Craner is releasing a floppy tea and clearly... Beanie is much, much better. If you agree with me, then make sure you purchase a t-shirt. Now, to end this episode, I actually, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit thirsty. I'm not making Beanie angry anymore. I've learned that I need to place a campfire right underneath the bee. This relaxes Beanie, and now, if I'm not mistaken, hopefully it's not gonna burn here. I can peacefully take bee juice! Mm, delicious! Beanie! You make the best type of bee juice. Look how relaxing. Look how calm. Beanie is a good bee. Wait a minute. What's that? Wait a minute. What's that? I've been trolled. I've been trolled. Where's my bee? Where's my bee? Oh my god, there's a bunch of signs. Slow go. <gasps> Guys, what is this about? Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go up there. Be in a minecart. <laughs> Are you serious? I haven't been on the server for what, five days? And this is what I get? Being a my guard is dead. I've been trolled. Crater moves out. Beanie better be okay. Beanie better be okay. Oh, oh. Beanie, I'm coming for you, buddy. Are you in there, Beanie? Come on, please, please tell me he's in there. There's only one way to get him out. Beanie? I took his bee juice. Beanie, Beanie! What? That tastes pretty good, but where's Beanie? Hello? Let me listen. I think he's in there. Probably sleeping because he's been underneath of a campfire for the past week. <laughs> All right, I don't want to wake him up now. We'll check on him later. We'll check on him later. But what is going on here? My house has chests all over it? Are you kidding me? What's in these chests? Dirt. Eh? Are you... Okay, I gotta read these signs. I gotta read these signs. There's a lot going on right now, guys. Hi, Jelly. As you found my base, I have decided to join B-Town. Oh, yeah, this was Josh. I gotta do the accent. As a sign of respect, I am returning the stuff I stole, but with a twist. The items have been placed randomly in these chests dotted around your house. Have fun. No! So Josh stole something from me? I remember uh, somebody stole my... What's happening over there? <laughs> What's happening over there? Uh, okay, what? wait. What is going on here? It's Bork the dog. Hey, Josh, I I think he got rid of being in my cart, so I thought we needed a new Minecraft animal. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck in there forever, Bork. Okay, well, being a minecart was better, and may I have a one second of silence for being a minecart? Yeah, that, perfect. Okay, so some of my valuables- Oh! Diamond! Are supposed to be in these chests? Okay, the best way to get rid of them is to actually break them, I think. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Are you kidding me? At least I got a diamond back. Okay, I'll, I'll start over here. Uh, Josh must have used a lot of wood. This is not okay. Hello, B. How's it going? Oh, whoa! A lot of minecarts. Great. Now my inventory is full. Wow, this is fantastic. Ah. Uh, Why would somebody make this many minecarts? Like, they're kind of expensive, you know? <gasps> whoa! Wait, a crystal? Okay. Or wait, no, no, I need to say amethyst, I think. 
Amethyst. All right, well, this is pretty fun. I want to know what's going on over there. Okay, wait, there's a bunch of signs where Craner's house used to be. I, Craner. Oh, wait, this is Craner. I need to do the Danish accent. I, Craner, have moved out of B-Town and into Fish Town. Bye, losers. What? Fish Town? Dumb fish, dumb fish, dumb fish. Craner thinks his fish floppy is the greatest thing ever. All it does is say bloop. Yeah, entrance to Fish Town, aka the best town on the block. I'm very, very disappointed in my friends. Seriously, Fish Town, Fish Town, Fish Town. At least bees make honey and they kill you and uh, and and themselves when they're angry. What is this house? Oh my God, is this his aquarium? Oh my God, Floppy's in here. Oh my God, Yo, Floppy living the good life all of a sudden. Okay, Craner, nice house and all, but ugly house. Ugly house, ugly town. Good luck with your dumb floppy tea, loser. Oh wait, wait. I need to leave him a present. There you go. Ah, oh, make sure you go to the jelly store, guys. Show some support to Beanie the Bee. I'm gonna continue removing some of these chests. And then after, I will check if Beanie is okay because I haven't even seen him yet today. I literally put him on a t-shirt so he better be alive. Like, that would be pretty sad if he's dead right now. How have I only found one diamond bat? This is not okay. This is simply not okay. Okay, another crystal. We have four crystals now. Doing all right, doing- Oh, another diamond! Yes, two diamonds. Doing all right, we're doing all right. We're, we'll, we'll get this done. We're won't take too long. Oh no, also in here? This is Beanie's old house before I made him a scratch, 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 sculpture. That's the word I was looking for. Is there still a bee in here? Okay, there's a bee in here. I don't know who lives here. It's not Beanie, that's for sure. Okay, the inside's done, but now the outside. Wow, Josh, this is such a great, great troll. Just letting you know, Josh. Yeah, love it. All right, I think that's pretty much it. We have a couple of more. I only found two diamonds, guys. This is kind of a problem. I swear I was missing three. Well, great. That was all for nothing. Okay, we seriously have to check on Beanie the Bee. We gotta make sure he's okay. Hopefully he's awake now. Beanie, if you're dead, I will start crying. Beanie? No, no. Beanie? Get out, get out, you dumb bee. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Where's Beanie? Where's Beanie? Beanie! What do I do now? I just made a bloody t-shirt about him. Beanie, you better be in there, buddy. I'm gonna wait here for an hour. I'm gonna wait here for an hour, Beanie. You better be in there. It literally says, here lives the mayor, Beanie. But he's not in here. So where could he be? I've lost him. And you know what, what his problem is? He looks like any other bleep me. Ah! Why did I not give him a name tag, guys? Why did I not give him a name tag? No, you gotta be kidding me. I, I think he's dead. He can't be dead. He can't be dead. No! It's all crazy. Craner's fault, isn't it? It's all Craner's fault. It's Craner! Can I have a quick 10 seconds of silence for Beanie the Bee, please? Okay, timer starts now. <sighs> ah! Stupid bees. I mean, flies. That was a fly. That wasn't a bee. That was a fly. Okay, enough! We're getting floppy! I told you it was war! Where's that dumb fish of yours, Craner? Woof! Yeah, fish town. More like no town. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need a, I need a bucket. I need a bucket. <laughs> it's War Craner. I know you did this to me. I know you killed Beanie, or at least you took him. So I'm taking Floppy. Bloop. Nope, missed. Bloop. Yeah, bucket of tropical fish. Now I go this way, and now I put him in here. Bloop. Ha ha ha! He's free. He's free. You enjoying that free life, Floppy? You enjoying it? Psych. He will never be free. He will never be a free fish. Floppy doesn't deserve to be free. Gotcha! We're gonna have a good time, Floppy. I'm gonna put you in the nether. <laughs> We're talking about the nether. I really want to get some netherite. I found out that netherite is better than diamonds. Yes, I'm a Minecraft pro. Okay, I know exactly what to do with Floppy. I know exactly what to do. Kainer, I know this was you, buddy. I know this was you. Okay, Floppy. Blip. That's where you're going. Yes, right underneath Beanie. And to make it extra special, I will give him some trap doors. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, and blip. <laughs> Stuck in there forever, Floppy. Okay, let's go leave Craner some signs. Oh, I need to make some first, though. Okay, don't tell, guys. Don't tell where Floppy is, all right? Don't do that. Don't be that kind of a guy. Yeah. There we go. I can't sprint. This is really annoying. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna have to get rid of uh, some of these signs. Give back Beanie, or I will kill Floppy. I know it was you. <laughs> good one, good one, good one. You know what? Put a chest down here with an empty bucket in it. There we go. Good luck with that, Craner. Yeah, I know he's got Beanie. Beanie! Beanie! I gotta go check on Beanie. I also put Floppy in there. I stole him from Craner, and he might actually still be there. I'm not sure. Okay, everything's looking as usual. Mayor Beanie lives in the butt of this bee statue. Hello, bees. What? Oh no, there's signs! Hi, Jelly. I swear I did not take Beanie. I would never do that, I swear. 
Okay. Anyway, I gave you three bees. Please don't hurt Floppy. Actually, never mind. I found Floppy, but take the bees, I guess. What? Floppy? I should have thought about this spot. It wasn't a good spot. Now listen, Craner says he put three bees in here. If there are four bees inside of this bee's nest, that means that Beanie was hiding inside all along. If I break this, do they all come out? Ah! Oh my god! Beanie was in there all along! Ow! Did you guys see that there were four? Beanie's not dead! Although all bees are identical, so which one of you is Beanie? Oh god. <laughs> I could have just done that in the previous episode. Beanie is still alive. One, two, three bees in there. One might have died because I think I got stung. Uh, oh, wait, that's number four. One, two, three, four. One of them is Beanie. One of them is Beanie. Which one's Beanie? That one's Beanie. Hello, Beanie. Okay, you're still alive. I guess Craner took his dumb fish back. And you know what's even dumber? He made his own town called Fishtown. Entrance to Fishtown, aka the best town on the block. Now listen, guys. I'm gonna make a wall. B-Town is going to separate itself from Fishtown. Why, why, why do we even have him connected? That's just weird. And what is this, by the way? Bork auction. Uh, is that Josh's dog? I have decided to sell Bork via auction. I love him very much, but I am unable to keep him anymore. Please bid for him below. Jelly bid. Okay, how many diamonds am I gonna bid? And how many diamonds is Craner gonna bid? Okay, nobody's placed a bid yet. Boy, what do you have to say about this? Josh is trying to auction you. If I remember correctly, Josh also... Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know what happened to be in a minecart, but Josh probably did it. What if we just put Bork in a minecart? That's genius. Before we do that, though, I'm gonna build a wall. A big one. A very strong wall. I have a lot of cobble deep slate, and we're gonna be using that as a base for this wall. That's right. Beat Town is going to separate itself from Fish Town. All fish can do is say blob. Would you look at this wall? It's a big wall. It's a strong wall. Okay, we're gonna make it three high every fourth block. Okay, I'm messing this up already. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Okay, all right, that looks pretty good. What if we use some honey blocks in the middle of it? I think that would be very cool. However, I'm not sure how expensive honey blocks are to make. I've gotta collect some honey. All right, we have some glass bottles in this chest. This is where old Beanie's house is. Okay, so we just gotta... We just gotta fill it. We just gotta fill the bottles with bee juice. I've got some campfires underneath of the trees. This way they don't get angry. I read that in some of your comments. Okay. Oh, wait. There's also still a minecart here. Maybe that's where I got my idea from. I'm not sure. But we can take some of the, the minecart rails there and the minecart itself. And we can actually use that for Bork in the minecart. <laughs> Bork in a minecart. Going up B Tower. Dude, this is genius. Okay, let's take some of this stuff. Let's take some of this. We're gonna need it. You know, I would steal Bork, but I think it's Josh's pet. So actually, Bork is pretty useless. The thing with dogs is they obey their pet owner. So once you've like uh, taken the dog in, you won't listen to anybody else. So he's completely useless to me. He'll be very useful in a minecart. That's for sure. All right, we have 14. Okay, there's one for two more. 15, 16. I think that's enough for now. All right, we go to a crafting table. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, you make honey blocks like this. Man, this is expensive. What? I only have three from that? Are you kidding me? One, two, three. And what if I break one? Okay, I can pick it up. That's good. I'll bring some of the bottles up here. Oh, I really need that minecart back. I hate climbing. Can we get the minecart thing going? I'll do that today as well. I think there should be more honeycombs here. No campfires, though. Oh, there we go. Don't get angry at me. Don't get angry, please. Ah! Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Please get out of here. Okay, let's place some of this powered rail stuff back on the way down. Blip, blip, blip. And then later we can focus on Bork. All right, there we go. We need a little bit more, but that's okay. Now let's get some more honey, shall we? Okay, this is going pretty well, but it's taking absolutely forever. There we go. We have nine more, nine more. The things I do for a B-Town wall, you know what I mean? All right, there we go. And ooh, we need three. Okay, we need nine more blocks. One hour later. And there we go. All right, okay, we have one layer of honey blocks done. And I think that's enough. 
because that took absolutely forever. Now what material do we use? I mean, this is starting to look like a pretty cool wall. I want to get an iron gate going, so we'll take some of this iron. Okay, 16 bars. That should be enough. Iron gates are not that expensive now that I think about it. Oh, look at that. We'll place iron bars here also, which means we need some more. 33. That should be enough. Woo, this is going to be one hell of a gate. Nobody's coming through. Actually, Trainer will come through, but it's not really about that. It's a message for him to show him that nobody really cares about Fishtown. B-Town rolls. Okay, that's all of the iron. Now let's quickly put some more deep slate on, and I think think that should be a wall guys that should that should be it and maybe as a final aesthetic some deep slate stairs would look pretty good just saying whoo this is starting to look pretty cool i like it all right perfect now let's have a look what it looks like from dumb fish down oh my god Look at that wall! Nobody's passing through. Fishtown is lame. Just saying. Look at this place. Also, why is there a portal next to my house? I didn't even realize that. Fishtown's nether portal. Do not touch if you are B-Town. No! No, 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 no! Okay, nice try. Thanks for the nether portal. This is going to be B-Town's. B-Town's nether portal. Do not touch if you like fish. Perfect. Hey, what's this thing doing here? Are you kidding me? Ugh. All right, all right, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. There's a sign here that says E. We have the wall done now, and the next thing we're gonna need is actually to put Bork in a minecart. I think, yeah, there we go, I have some more. So this could be quite simple if Bork works with me here. So we're gonna put a rail down, flip, 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 and we'll put a minecart on it, like so, and now we just push it. Ah, Bork, get on that thing. Bork, 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 yes! He's gonna be having a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. The rail is in place. Let's push Bork towards Speed Town. I mean, Speed Tower. Oh, he's angry at me. Whoa. Hey, move it, Bork. Move it. Ow, he's like biting me, I think. All right. Time for a roller coaster, little dumb Bork. <laughs> Whee! Oh, ow. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb dog. Yo, you gotta press on the like button for this one, okay? Especially since I lost the war. Okay, we'll pick up the rest of the minecarts. And then we will activate our rail to B tower with the greatest Captain Bok as a new contestant. Okay, I'll leave those there so that people know what's going on. All right. It might need some powered rails over here. Okay, and now redstone. Redstone, one under here. Uh-huh. One under there. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yes. Okay, let's quickly check. We have redstone, redstone. Okay, that one is still turned off. Blip. Yes. And then, there we go. It's all connected. It's all connected. Let's go get a minecart and join Bork on an adventure. Okay, there should be a chest full of mine carts yes dude i'm so prepared for this can you believe it move it move it in three two one Woo! let's go bork bork no oh i thought it was gonna die i thought it was gonna die <laughs> take two hey bork you're going without me if he dies now it's all my fault okay there we go come on bork bork i think he's okay yes bork in a mine car all right, being a minecart was fun, but to be honest, Bork in a minecart is even better. I call him Bork in a minecart. Now let's tell Josh because Jelly bids one minecart. In the previous episode, I built this wall. Well, it's gone already. Great. Let's have a read at this sign. I clicked the lever and blew it up. Sauce. Okay, so like I said, I built this wall last episode, although I did not add a lever to it. So Josh added a lever with TNT and blew it up? Or did Craner add the lever with TNT and Josh blew it up? I don't really know what's going on. Anyway, Josh didn't fix the mess. What am I supposed to do now? Ah! Before I continue, this series is fueled on your likes. It needs at least 100,000 likes. Otherwise, I will never upload another B video again. Also, JellyStore.com, we released Beanie merch a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, Craner won that war, but Beanie is still living inside of my beautiful statue so that's all good he will take revenge on crane another time but for now let's actually go and say hi to what why is there a sheep in this minecart i had a minecart going up and down here with a dog inside called bork in a minecraft what bork in a minecraft i mean bork in a minecart but now it's a sheep bork was josh's dog and he actually had him up for auction right here 
Craner bit nothing because Jelly stole him. So like, why? I don't think anything happened here. I guess I'll take the real card back. Ah, what is going on? Where's Bork? I was having fun with him. Ah! Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. There are signs inside of my house. How dare you mess with my clone Bork? Yes, it was a clone. Get fooled. It was a fake Bork? Anyway, I decided to troll your bee. Go up there and check it out. Slow go. No. First he gets rid of Bork in a minecart. I don't care if it was a if, I don't care if it was a clone or not. A dog is a dog. You don't kill dogs in this game, man. And now he's trolled Beanie? Beanie, 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 beanie. I'm going up there. Get out of the way, sheep. It's my turn to go up. No! Dumb sheep! It's literally my turn! Okay, almost there, almost there. There we go. Beanie! He better be alive. I've had Beanie for multiple, multiple episodes now. Mayor Beanie lives inside of my statue. What is happening here? Why is there a tripwire? No, no, no! No! Did I? Are we okay? I was gonna break it, but I accidentally stood on it. Nothing happened. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my- Whoa, 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 whoa! Someone tried to kill me! But little do they know that- String doesn't actually like work like redstone. It's the trip by your part that does it. Oh my god, someone really dumb trolled me. I think it's probably Craner. Bork rules. Just kidding. Your bee flew away when I opened the door. Dumb bee. Could be alive though. Beanie flew away. Oh, and sauce about the bee house blowing up. Oh, and maybe make the door safer next time. <laughs> it didn't blow up, okay? It was Josh placing the TNT and he let Beanie escape. I gotta go find him. I gotta go find Beanie. Beanie, 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 Beanie! Hey! I mean, there's literally only one bee here. And Josh said he flew away. So then it must be this one? Oh, oh, there's another. Should we call him Beanie or are we calling him Beanie 2? Or I don't know. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I lost my connection with my bees. One of you is probably Beanie. I don't, I, you all look the same. I don't know which one it is. We have two bees now. Okay. <laughs> I hate Josh. I worked so hard on my bee statue overlooking Bee Town. And now he's killed Beanie. Or well, he's at least let him go. And I don't know which one's Beanie. And he's gotten rid of Bork in a minecart. And he's blown up my wall. He's gonna have to die. Is he online? Nope. It's just me. Great. Josh! Ah, I'm going to his base. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do. Get in here. Nope. Am I seriously gonna have to wait? Okay, how do we get up to his base again? Like here? <clears throat> it got rid of my path. I made a path up to his base because this was lame. Okay, we're inside. We go through this. We go through this. We have an aquarium. Hmm, whoa, this is new. This is nice. He built this? It's not bad. It's not bad. Dude, double layer? Dude, double layered glass. Bit overkill, buddy. Okay, he's got a bed. What is that? Uh. Oh my god! Okay, I'm going down. It's pretty dark down here. I gotta figure out what this is all about. And then I can think of a good payback on Josh. I mean, I do have three TNT. I guess I could use that. Oh my God. What is this? He's got like, oh, <gasps> oh my God. What is this? Got a whole bunch of dogs. Wolf, wolf. Wait, we got a lot of blue ones. We have a pink one. Mother clone. Bork. What's up, Bork? <laughs> Should I? No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I will never kill a dog. Wait a minute. <gasps> Bork is sitting as well. When a dog is standing, he will teleport to his owner. If I get to move Bork to somewhere where Josh doesn't know he is, he can't get Bork back. I'm stealing Bork. Oh yeah, Bork get a minecart 2.0. How do I get up here again? Okay, we go this way. It's a little bit quicker, I think. I'm also considering moving my house up to the mountain. Because I feel like I'm a bit close to the drama right now. Craner lives awfully close to me, and it smells like fish. Okay, let's uh, let's bring this. Let's bring this. Sheep, you're going. I don't really care about you anyway. You gotta go, buddy. Time's up. Ah, <gasps> that was actually kind of sad. I didn't mean to kill him. All right, there we go. Wasting an entire pickaxe, but we have our powered rails. There we go. I have some more powered rails. Okay, we can bring all of that. Oh, okay. Let's bring some of this iron. Oh, I have a lot. I have a lot of iron. All right, so Bork currently lives underground. We gotta go move him somewhere. You know, he's gotta he's gotta live somewhere else. The first thing is I gotta get him into a minecart, right? Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes! This is gonna work really well. Oh yeah, y'all staring, cause I'm about to steal Bork. Okay, so I think it's pretty fun to uh, actually go up. Why don't we go and bring Bork 
as high as possible to the highest point of this map. All right, that's the surface already. Dude, this is not even that deep. I will remove all of these blocks once we have Bork up there. It's gonna be quite a lot of work. Dude, where even are we? Oh, whoa. I went the opposite direction, I had no idea. And now we just bring the rails down all the way to where Borky lives. There we go, okay, that should go all the way up. And now we simply connect the rail and we send him up. Come on, Bork. Yes, Bork, yes, <laughs> he's going. Oh yeah, Bork, let's go together. <laughs> Yo, and we place a block and now he's stuck here. We simply remove all of this and we do all of that again. All right, look at this, guys. <laughs> I am, um, I'm pretty high up. I've made a little turn back towards B-Town, and I'm just placing on all kinds of blocks to go as high up as possible with Bork. I'm currently at 130 blocks high. So that's pretty impressive if you ask me. We'll try to go as far as possible. The thing is, I don't need that many rails, because I could just, you know, take little breaks. All right, um, let's actually put some more down now. Okay, we are pretty high up now. Whoa, this is scary. If the, if Bork dies, then this is not my fault, okay? Okay, Bork, go, go, go! Yes, Bork! Yes, Bork! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, yes! No! No! Bork! Okay, can I push you up, Bork? Yes! 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 Okay, now I just gotta remove everything again. Gosh, this is horrible. All right, it is time for the final stretch, okay? I haven't reached build height yet, but... I think, I think we're high enough. I think we're high enough. My pickaxe broke though. Uh, wait, I gotta fix this. The final stretch is here. We break this block. We put a piece of rail down. Yes! Go, 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 go! I'll push you up, push you up! Yeah! Uh, yes! Okay, that should make it. I think he's gonna make it. I think he's gonna make it. Bork! Yes! He made it! He made it! <laughs> oh, look how high up we are. We are? Har? Oh my god, wait, I only just realized we're on cloud level! Alright, Bork! You're gonna enjoy it up here! Okay, let's surround Bork with some blocks. I call him Bork in a sky Bork block. I mean, sky block. Yes! Now let's go tell Josh what we did. But before that, we actually have to break all of these blocks to get down. But that's okay. Bork is chill up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm not telling Josh where I put Bork. It's, it's not happening. All right, we've made it down. And would you look at that? You can see it just about above the clouds. I guess if the clouds move, you could see it a little bit better. But it looks pretty good. I don't think Josh will find out that Bork's in there. However, he's probably going to find out that we stole Bork. Wait, no, I have a better idea. I think I still have a name tag. We're gonna name a clone Bork, and Josh is not going to realize. That's a good idea, right? We're just gonna pretend like nothing happened, I think. I think that's the best way to go. Oh, here, name tag, name tag. Okay, here we go. Bork. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're on Josh's base. Uh, like I said, I don't want to tell him that we've been here, so maybe we should repair the windows. Nah, let's not repair the windows. Craner is the window guy. He always breaks them, so Josh will probably think it's Craner. Okay, here we have the dogs. They're all pretty sad because Bork's not here. We have Mother Clone. And there we have Bork. I stole the real Bork. It is true. In the previous episode, I trolled Slogo by building a skyblock up there. I put his pet dog there. Well, it kind of looks like he's... Found it. We'll go check that out later. I have my own pet bee. He lives in that structure. Or at least, I think so. I kind of lost him a couple of times. I'm not really sure which one's beanie. And this is my house. It's partially broken because I said that I'm going to move to the mountain. Which is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Now listen, this series is fueled by likes. I need at least 100,000 likes underneath of this video. Otherwise, I won't record another one. It's over. And only about 30% of you watching are actually subscribed to my channel. So please press that subscribe button. Bring me to 25 million subs. And go to the jelly store for some merch. Now let's head up to the beautiful mountain of... B-Town. B-Town used to be down there. However, that part's like partially blown up. I added a wall. I got blown up by Craner or Slogo. I don't even know who. And the mountain is relatively uh, untouched. We've got B-Tower over here, which is kind of like the viewing point. We used to have a minecart system going down and up. That's also gone. And this is actually where I want to build my new house. Check this out. Jolly's new house in construction. Soon to be the best house on the mountain. Over here, we've... Oh, no. 
The door is open. We have my beanie. It's Mayor Beanie. He lives in here. Although, oh no, there are signs. I came to see how the statue was doing and the bees flew out again. You really need to increase your... Uh, did Beanie escape again? I don't even know which one's Beanie anymore. There's always a couple of bees flying around over here in this mountain. Uh, can I can I find any? Or are they chilling in their nests? Well, the first one I see, I'm going to call Beanie again. I don't actually know which one's Beanie anymore. I should probably name tag him. Now, like I said, I actually want to build a beautiful... Beautiful, beautiful house on this mountain because I feel like it's relatively protected here. And no, I am not copying Josh by moving to a mountain. I did it first. Yeah. Right, I did. So I think the entrance should be somewhere over here. All right, so we're gonna build some blocks. I gotta make a door though, so let's put a crafting table down, make a quick door, and put that one in the middle. All right, that's a good starting ground. That's a good starting ground. And we surround the rest with white concrete. Does that look okay? I think it does. Now I wanna keep the same style as I had before because to be honest, it's my favorite style and it's called modern jelly style. If you haven't heard about that style before, let me know. We can remove the scaffold folding though it was just just here to look pretty but i think everybody gets it we're working on a new house <laughs> so there's gonna be windows there windows there then i actually want to make a ladder system yes i said ladder i want the whole back wall to be made out of ladders i don't know if that's gonna look good but that's not really my concern right now blah, 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 blah. watch this if we just surround this with ladders there's kind of like no other way to get up You're like just you just go up here and then we continue our house yeah big house that's right you might have thought that was the only room. Nope. Nope. We're gonna make a big house. This is gonna be the most beautiful house in this Minecraft server and in B-Town. The only one living in B-Town, so it's definitely the only one. The only pretty house in B-Town. It's true. Okay, wait. Back here, there's another pathway. Perhaps we could connect these two areas. That would be cool. All right. We're almost done shoveling. In fact, my shovel's about to break, so that's not good. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please. Ah. <sighs> The floor is going to be oak. There we go. I need to get rid of some more of the uh, the dirt here, I think. Although I do have 61 iron ingots. I am pretty rich. So this should not be a problem for me. All right, there we go. That's all the dirt. We need a little bit of more oak. Okay, that's a lot. We place that as the floor. There we go. And then we can actually continue with the white concrete. Yes. All right. Look at this. Looking goody goody. Okay, I'm messing everything up. Giant windows yet again in this beautiful mansion. Dude, this is starting to look pretty sick. Same thing. Uh oh. Same thing on this side. Blip, 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 blip. One, two, three, four high. And then we just cover the rest up. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, have, am I gonna have enough? Really do not want to make some more concrete. That is really annoying to make. Okay, there we go. Oh, we need one more. <laughs> ah, there we go. Whoa! Look at that skeleton. Oh, wait, I'm actually gonna need more for this part. Oh, man. Okay, I should have some more on my house over there. Should just about be enough. Let's take the rest with us. All right, that's pretty much everything. Let's go back up and fill the rest. Okay, not too shibby. This is a fantastic looking house, guys. Say what you want, but I think I'm a pro builder we will have an entrance on this side wow and what about this side hmm nope nothing here okay so the skeleton looks pretty much done i could continue it a little bit over here though kind of feel like that would look appropriate but before we do that i want to work on a little balcony area all right let's start getting the glass in i think we should have quite a lot i'm not sure if that's gonna be enough though we might need to get some more sand okay let's start spamming the glass okay that is not helping jelly if we don't place it in the right spot we're not gonna have enough okay the glass roof is in place gotta do the front side now However, I think I'm about to run out. Okay, two more pieces. One, two. <laughs> I, I need a third. Okay, so my idea is you go up here. There will be a stair here, and you can walk on here. This is like a little balcony area. You see that? I think that looks pretty cool. But we need to actually get some more sand. Where can we do that? I think we need to go that way. Is there a boat here anywhere? Whoop! I'm gonna make a boat. Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Bring me to the beach. Okay, I realize there's sand there, but I don't want to ruin that part, okay? All right. I think there is a good amount of sand around here. It's just gonna need some chopping, you know what I mean? Once I've got enough sand, I will bring it back to the furnace, smelt it all, and continue working on the best house on the mountain. Okay, that is annoying. Also, you might be like, oh, Jelly, why don't you just make glass panes? Well, because I think normal glass is more expensive and therefore better. Think about that for a second. I think we're just going to use the whole shovel. It's only one iron anyway. All right. I think that should be plenty. Let's start heading back. Oh, you can even see the tower. All right. Everything is in the furnace. And now we wait. 
right a little bit more over here. And there we go. Would you look at this? We've got our beautiful terrace with some green carpeting. And yes, glass as a floor. A beautiful view. And something I haven't shown you yet is this. <gasps> Yep, I decided to use a little bit of my gray concrete over here. Also, this needs to be changed. There we go. The gray concrete was kind of left over, and I thought, why not extend our house even further and make a master bedroom up here? Oh, look at this place. This is a sick house. So we just got to cover this with glass, and then we can start interior decorating it. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I mean, this is just going to have a, a bed, you know. It's, it's really not that crazy. It's a very minimalistic house. I'm usually the opposite however quite happy with it I think it's a little bit different you know, oh seriously okay there we go there we go okay the the roof all right there we go wow this feels so much smaller all of a sudden but i'm quite happy with it although we still need glass on this roof but we can slowly start interior decorating i think and we need to move that chest because it's kind of in the way just look at it guys doesn't it look amazing man i i sure think it does it's different but I think it's cool. It works in B-Town, I think. Got the glass in everywhere. So I think it's about time we start decorating. We have a lot of lime carpet, and we're gonna be using that, I think. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's use a little bit of carpeting up in the bedroom. Where exactly is the bed gonna be? I guess right here. It'll be a large bed, so we just gotta squeeze it around. There we go. And then we need a little bit of carpeting in here. Um, The construction signs are ready to go. I think that's it. I think that's perfect. All right, let's break these furnaces and start cleaning this place up. Okay, I destroyed the chests because they are going up here, I think. Like that and like that. I think a furnace could go on each side and two crafting tables in the middle. Okay, now we just got to fill these things up again. Okay, just organizing a little bit. The cobblestone goes here. The wood goes here. Just wooden products. I have some special ones over here. Deep slate, wool, and uh, concrete also here. I mean, we have a lot of stuff, to be fair. This might actually be one of the first times ever that I have my inventory organized. This is new to me. We also kind of need a secret chest somewhere, although I don't really know where to put it yet. Maybe let me know in the comments. So where should I put my secret chest? Also, I just realized we forgot a spot. Like jelly. Are you down? And of course, over here as well. I don't like the way that uh, that mountain is kind of like in my view. So let's just remove this a little bit. Just like that. That is fine, I think. Just not touching the windows, you know? No dirt can touch me windows. They need to stay clean. All right, let's grab the red tulips and put the red tulips behind the house. Flip, flip, flop, flip. I would put white concrete there, but I ran out. <gasps> Yes. Oh my god. Underneath of the house, we can have a secret tunnel with a secret chest. This is it. This is it. That is perfect. Can I remove that block? <clears throat> nope. Okay, so most of my valuables, which by the way, I have no idea where my diamonds are, will be put there. I just gotta make a chest real quick. Where are my diamonds? Didn't I have some? Did somebody steal them? Like, this is such a normal thing to happen. I, I just, I get lost sometimes. Okay, I need... I need to. That looks really weird. At least we can put um, our iron in there and maybe our coal. I'd say that's reasonably valuable. It's just annoying to get. Also, I don't think anybody in this series has gotten netherite before. I think I might just have to be the first one. I mean, I did kill the ender dragon, so I'm pretty important. Okay, this is still covered by dirt, but for now, we will close it up. There we go. That's a pretty good secret getaway path. Then all we need is green wool. I use everything for my carpets. But I need green wool for a bed. And then that should be it. Oh my god, what is that? He's got a dog statue? Ugh. Well, Craner lives somewhere there. I I think. He recently moved out of B-Town and calls his town Fish Town. What? And this is my bee statue. My bee is not in here anymore. My bee is gone. <laughs> That's right. I had a pet bee. His name was Beanie. I don't really know what happened to him. I think Slogo let him out. I don't really have any direct evidence, but I'm going to stand in front of the statue and we're going to have a five seconds of silence for Beanie. Beanie! <laughs> I miss you! Ah. Wait, I was supposed to be silent? Five seconds of silence? I ruined it! Anyways, welcome to my brand new mansion! There's some signs. Ah! Okay, before we read the signs, I'm gonna tour you around. Over here, we've got some paintings. This is my Jelly Lisa. Yes. Jelly Lisa. Behind Jelly Lisa. Oh, 
I just broke the painting. Oh, I'm so dumb. That one was worth a billion dollars. It's my secret chest room! What? Nice chest, buddy. Craner. Ah! How did he find this? Ah, oh, this is not going well. Anyway, secret chest room. Yeah, living room. Wow. We then go upstairs and we have our crafting room with some chests. I guess this will be Jelly Lisa. What's up? Jelly Lisa. In case if you don't understand, this is Mona Lisa. And that's Jelly Lisa, okay? Then we have a beautiful terrace around the back. Look at this view. I have a really ugly view. Because Josh built a dog statue. Ah, I had a good view of a bee statue, but nope, now it's ugly. All right, anyway, then we have the master bedroom. I said master because we got three beds. Yeah, this is for me, myself, and I. In the previous episode, Slogo built that to there. But that used, used to be a skyblock, and now it's like yellow. Anyway, let's go ahead and read the signs. But before I do that, you might be wondering, Jelly, what are you wearing? Well, I'm actually wearing Jelly merch that nobody has ever seen. That's right. This is unreleased Jelly merchandise. This summer, we are releasing so much cool stuff. For example, <clears throat> glow in the dark controllers, what? I'll keep you guys up to date, remember, subscribe, otherwise you will never know. Hi Jelly, as a longtime resident of B-Town and creator of Fishtown, I no longer see a reason to live here anymore. Josh killed my fish, his dog ate him alive. What? Josh also killed my bee! Or well, made my bee escape. I have moved. You will never find me again, Craner. So he's moved out of Fishtown? Wait, what? He used to live, oh my God, his house is gone. He used to live here. And his fish used to live in this aquarium right in here. There's nobody in here. I get why he moved. Craner's house is literally gone. Here lies old Fishtown. It used to be the best town on the block, but Josh drew it with a dog eating floppy. I have moved away, you will never see me again. He probably lives there, doesn't he? I mean, I noticed it was yellow. <laughs> We'll go check that out later, but first, I want to check out this dog. We've got a brand new statue in this town. Yes, I still call this Mountain B-Town. Josh hasn't named this Bork Town, has he? So I guess it's still a part of B-Town? I don't know. But Josh is quite aggressive. He killed Craner's fish. He made my bee fly away. Like, what's wrong with this guy? And then we have a really ugly dog statue here. Like, what? What? Oh, my God. Are we going to have to go up his bee hole? Uh, okay. We're going, we're going up. And there's some dogs in here. We've got red flags. Anything special about them? Just red banners. Okay. Some torches. Oh, I knew it! There's a secret room. There's a secret room. Is it a skeleton? That's not very secret. Ah! Are the skeletons going to attack the dog? I'm trying to make the skeleton hit the dogs. That'd be funny. Wait, are they angry at me? The dogs are growling at me. This is the dumbest skeleton I have ever seen. Of course, it lives inside of Josh's statue. Anyway, at the top over here, look at this guy. There's nothing. Is that literally it? There's no secrets. Anything else I need to know about? We've got Josh's house right over here. Just his bed, which doesn't really look like a bed. Oh, we got some more signs. Oh, same signs from Craner. More signs from Craner. Nothing else is new. Okay, I'm thinking right now. Josh deserves a little payback, doesn't he? And he literally copied my statue, but made it a dog. It's gonna have to go. It's gonna have to go. Or at least a part of it. Hmm. I'm gonna get myself some resources. You want a hint? Gunpowder. I need gunpowder. And actually, I don't think I have any, so I'm gonna have to go inside of a cave. Right down here is the entrance to my beautiful cave. I'm not sure if anybody else has used this, but it's quite massive. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna find some gunpowder here. Hello, creepers. Ooh, one here. One here. It's a bit dark. Don't blow up. I really need you. Okay, we've got some more here. Oh, don't. I just need you to die. Luckily, there's quite a lot of room here. Yes, that's one. Yes, that's two. Ah! Okay, we got some gunpowder. We've got some gunpowder. How much? Five. All right, this will be my last one. And there you go. That's 33 pieces of TNT. You know what? Of gunpowder. I, I think that's enough. I was hoping it would give me a little bit more so I would have an even number, but nope. The next thing we need is sand. It kind of looks like this area has been used. Um, that's, that's a bit awkward, actually. And there you go. Six pieces of TNT. I think that's plenty for now. Let's go to um, that little ugly statue over there and see what we can do. All right, so I was thinking, I don't want to blow this whole thing up, all right? I just want to send a message across... And if he disagrees with me, then 
We'll blow the whole thing up. So how about we have a look at his face, shall we? Woof, 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 little face. Also, just so you guys know, I'm not killing real dogs here. These are apparently clones because Josh had like a weird cloning thing. So don't worry. We're not harming real dogs. Okay, there we go. That's some redstone. All right. This should work. Would you look at that little nose right now? But wait a second. Look at the nose right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is it going to work? Oh, Wow! <laughs> That's a little bit more destructive than I thought it would be. Oh, we've got a clone over here. What's up, clone? I guess one made it out alive. Oh, two made it out alive. Wow, decent. All right, let's clean this place up and leave some signs for Josh. Oh, man. That was quite the explosion. His eyes flew a thousand miles. <laughs> Beanie will always rule. Dead, lost, or alive. No other statues are allowed on B-Town's land. From the best Minecraft player in the world, Jelly. Okay, I realize I might not be the best Minecraft player, but hey, come on. It's a funny sign. All right, so his face blew up. However, Josh will probably want to check if his dogs are still alive inside of this statue. So he's going to go up these ladders and then open this trap door and then be like, <gasps> Clones! Oh my god, you're still alive! Or two of them anyway. However, I thought that blowing his face up was so much fun. Why don't we add some more TNT inside of here that Josh triggers himself? Genius idea. Let's go back to the cave. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I need you. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely not the best Minecraft player in the world. But hey, leave a like on this video if you think I'm decent. I think my trolls are pretty good. If this sword had knocked back, then this would not be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> yeah, definitely not the best. Okay, is that enough? I think so. Do we have any iron? Did Craner steal all of that? I kind of want to make a... um. A trap door, an iron one. Okay, let's get some iron and then I'm gonna be done. All right, here we are. Like I said, the iron should be placed, or the trap door anyway, should be placed right here. Blip. And Josh will wanna open this with a lever, of course, right? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm so dumb. But hey, I'm trying, I'm trying to have a good time. All right, like that? Yes, okay, so. If I place redstone here, that's then activated. So all I gotta do is place, oh, no, not right now, not right now. All I gotta do is turn that off. Okay, go up another way. Yes, now I get it, now I get it, big brain. And then, mm, place TNT. There we go, I think that should do the trick. It will kill the clones, but that's okay. He's just gonna open that trap door. He won't be able to see anything from that ladder. I think that's pretty decent. You know what? Josh is the type of guy that kind of overthinks everything, so he might not fall for it, but you know what? That's okay. At least then I partially blew up his statue. If he doesn't fall for it, I'll just burn it down anyway. He kind of deserves it. You know, apparently he killed Floppy, Craner's fish, and he, um... <clears throat> Did something to Beanie. I still really don't know what. Also, I, he also tried to do a TNT trap on me, but he failed. Wait, I have one more idea. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. All I need is a little bit of cobblestone. Okay, about my other idea. It's kind of like a backup. I have to be super careful about this one, though. But we're gonna try it. So, I'm gonna stand over here. And we are gonna craft... Nope, not slabs. That's right. Pressure plates. Again, this might be overthinking it a little. Okay, so let's pick this trash up. And then place these pressure plates at the end of each of these redstones. All right. Again, <clears throat> this might fail, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm thinking Josh might be building up here instead of using a ladder because he will realize that there's a lever there. And then maybe he falls on a pressure plate. Who knows? Anyways, last but not least, we were supposed to check that place out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Here we are. B Tower. Yeah, Craner lives there, doesn't he? He said we'd never find him again, but he really didn't try. Oh, also, look, this is inside of my head. Not much there. And here we are. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Just jumping across this sky block, kind of. Sky parkour. We've got some signs. Best city on the sky. <laughs> on the sky. Craner's Sky City. Please leave me alone. I am sad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Craner. I'm. 
I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm not gonna be annoying to Craner. I'm not. I'm not. Did he? I mean, he did steal my iron, I think. But I'll just place a sign down. Sorry, it wasn't hard to find, but I blew up Fork statue for Beanie and Floppy. R.I.P. from Jelly. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of stuff has happened. I'm going back to beat. No, no, no. That hasn't happened in a long time. I have some bad news. <laughs> it's all gone. It's literally all gone. I don't know what happened. I am going to tour Beat Town. I am going to see what is left of it. However, I'm thinking of quitting. I'm thinking of quitting Beat Town. The only way for me to continue is if you press that like button and you bring this video to 200,000 likes. So press that like button. And obviously you have to be subscribed because otherwise you don't get notified when I upload the new Beat Town video. So make sure you press that button too and go to the jelly store for merch. Anyways, in the previous episode, I <clears throat> blew the face out of that dog's statue. Doesn't really look like a dog anymore, does it? Should we have a quick look over there? I planted TNT in, but danger, abandoned. What? Josh is gone? Okay. Um, this is weird. Do you think Josh did all of that? Okay, we're gonna check that out later, but first let's look at the statue. You see, I said, oh man, that was quite the explosion. His eyes flew a thousand miles. Well, I only blew his face up, but now his body's gone. So my troll worked. I'll place more TNT inside. Clearly it worked. Anyways, I blew Josh's statue up because he killed Floppy, Craner's fish, and I think he killed Beanie too. I don't have proof, but Beanie's dead. I haven't actually killed Josh's actual pet. I only broke the statue. So I, I'm not that, that much of a bad guy, really, am I? Now, a couple of episodes ago, I lived right over here. That's right, my house was here and I said, move to the mountain. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Here we are. No. No. I spent so much time building this house. There's some signs. Hi, Jelly. I was very upset that you blew up my brand new Bork Gang statue. So I decided to kill every bee in town. Destroy your house, blow up the tower, and leave forever. Also, it was not very cool of you to blow up Craner's house. What? I didn't do that. Slow go. It is Josh. It's all Josh. Oh man, is there anything left? My chests are gone. My bedroom ugh, with barrels behind it is all gone. Oh no, my secret chest is, is still here. <gasps> no, whatever's left of Beanie. I used to have a Beanie statue over here. It's gone. You can just about still see his wings. They're still flying. Are you kidding me? This is insane. This is not right. What did I do to deserve this? And what about the tower? The tower is all gone. What about my bee farm? My bee farm. Come on, come on, come. It's all gone. All the bees are dead. All the bees are gone. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna have to have a five second moment of silence. Oh! That was worth it. Now it's all good. No, it's not. No, it's not! Please, 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 please. Coal is gone! There's quite literally nothing left. Please tell me there's minecarts in here. No! God, no! So this sign states that Craner's house is blown up. It was up there. I don't even have enough blocks to make it there. I didn't blow that up. If Craner wants to troll me, go ahead. There's nothing to troll. There's, it's literally all gone. It's all gone. I actually have literally no idea how I'm supposed to move away from this. I don't even want to take anything with me. Yeah, you can suck it, Josh. If only he never hacked into my game. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. That's right. Um... I should probably leave some signs for Craner. Dear Craner, everything I loved and cared for is gone. Josh ruined our world. I'm out. If you want me to continue the series, it's not in Beat Town. Nope, it's not with my dumb friends. It's me, myself, and I on my own. Let's make a boat and sail out of here to a brand new world. And this time, I have to make sure that they don't find me. It's true. And you might be wondering, well, Jelly, where are you gonna go? Well, I have no idea, okay? 
I was planning to live my life peacefully in Beak Town for the rest of eternity with my good bee beanie. I mean, eventually he would have died, but maybe he would have been a father. You never know what would have happened. But now we will literally never find out. And that's all because of Slogo. He's completely ruined it. I really don't know why he's doing these things. Like, why does he want to be here in the first place? He hides in a mountain to then what? Blow all of our bases up? What is the point of, of even hiding in a mountain then? Oh, wow. It's 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 literally a river. It's it's just a river. I'm, I'm going through the river. It's actually kind of beautiful around here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and this is the end of the river. But it's not the end of where I'm going to go because this is way too close to B-Town. Um, we're in a snow biome now. Or at least there's some snow on top of that island. Floating island, okay. I don't like snow. I'm continuing. Yo, what is this? What is this? Wow! That is kind of pretty if you ask me. That is a good looking cave. But not good looking enough. Remember guys, I need to see at least 200,000 likes. It's a lot of likes. I realize I'm walking away from B-Town right now, but this might just be the end. It might just be the final walk that I will ever do. It all depends on the like button. So ask your brother, ask your sister, ask your mother. Ask whoever you can to press that button to get it there. Oh wait, oh, it's a village. It's a village. Could this be it? Could this be it? Hello, villagers. My name is Jelly. I've lived in this world a long, long time. Long, 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 long time. But I've just been traumatized by one of my friends. Hmm. Could this be it? Is there a smithy here? Could be a nice head start, right? Okay, this actually kind of looks cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, baby villager. I'm calling you Bob. It's you and me now, because I'm moving in. Yup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying I've moved here. However, I'm gonna spend the night here until this video reaches 200,000 likes, and then I will see what I'll do. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see another series like Beat Town, then please um, knock on Craner's door. <laughs> okay, bye.